Welcome to the homage to Joseph Henry Sharp. Um, once a year, Blue Rain Gallery uh, picks a Taos founder, and there's six of them, uh, and encourages our artists in our stable to uh, look through their work and choose an inspirational painting uh, or find some type of inspiration in his work and then reinterpret it in their own ways. Today we have here uh, one of our fantastic artists, Mark Pugh. Mark, welcome to Blue Rain and homage to Joseph Henry Sharp. Thank you. Um, I would like, I don't know that a lot of our uh, clientele has really had opportunity to uh, view your work or, or be introduced to you in general. So maybe we'll give a, a, a light uh, uh, overview of where you live and how would you describe your painting style before we get into some of those other questions? Sure. Um, well, I live in Utah, uh, northern Utah. In fact, my family, we just moved to a place called Eagle Mountain. Um, my And my style is... Um, it's kind of developed into a merging of the way I was trained as an artist, um, classical training, portraiture, figure stuff, um, realistic oil painting, and um, what I've grown up loving and being attracted to as an artist, which is um, kind of an illustrated ink and watercolor sort of look. Um, and for a while, I struggled to find how to kind of fit the, the style that I grew up loving and the way I was trained. And so essentially what I've done is in, in many of my recent paintings is to put figures in a, a setting in a world that looks illustrated. And I, I try and find a way to balance those two and 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 merge them together. Yeah, well, your 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 style is beautiful, and we we Thank love you. having you here in Blue Rain. Now let's turn to uh, the subject at hand, and okay. uh, tell us what you learned about Joseph Henry Sharp uh, that inspired you, and why did you choose the <clears throat> painting that you chose to emulate off of. Good question. Um, so I, you know, I'm looking at his art, it's very beautiful, um, uh, very Southwest, Native American feel, um, uh, Im impressionistic almost, um, kind of teetering on that a little bit, sort of almost like an American impressionistic. Um, and I, Looking at his paintings, I knew, I think right away that I wanted to um, to keep it cohesive with my style of painting. So I thought, you know, I'll take one of his paintings and I will um, incorporate it into um, a style with, you know, a, a figure involved, sort of living inside of that painting. And I was looking through a lot of his paintings um, and I found a few that I liked. In fact, I had settled on one that I liked, um, but just before I actually st started laying in the painting, I was looking over some again and I, and then I stumbled on this one, uh, Tao's Forest. And um, I, I love the intimacy. It has, it has these, this little thicket of trees in the foreground. Um, and I imagine that, you know, the viewer, the artist, you know, if this was painted from life or however it was done, sitting inside the shade of these trees um, and then looking out Past them is a, a, a meadow with hills, and then in the background, some, some hills, some mountains. Um, and I just, I love that intimate feel. I love the feel of how in this painting, there's a, a real sense of placement for the viewer. I can feel where I am, as opposed to a lot of landscapes, which beautiful. I'm looking out over something, what, I don't get a, you don't always get a sense of, of 
of being there in, in the place, in the space. So I, so I saw that just before I started working and I said, no, I got to go with this one. And, um, <clears throat> and so that's, that's how I arrived at this painting. What's a, it's a beautiful scene. What, what I see in your painting reflective from this one is the, the lines, the linear parts of the mountains mm -hmm. uh, pointed towards the imagery of, of the young lady there. And uh, mm -hmm. that seems to be uh, a very Mark Pugh type of style, you know, it's having <laughs> yeah. um, a figure in there in this context. And uh, yeah. is there a reason uh, why you like to do that? Uh, like to incorporate um, the, the, so you kind of have like an abstract surrealistic background, mm -hmm. and then you have a yeah, yeah. detailed okay. composition of a figure. So that that look there um, is very reminiscent of many of those illustrators that I've been talking about. I'm, and I'm talking about some of the illustrators of the early 20th century. Um, you know, most well known, I'm sure, uh, like Arthur Rackham, um, uh, Edward Dulac, uh, uh, some of these artists that I, I just, I love their, their works. I love their style. I love the, the line work. I love that it has a very illustrated feel. So I, I toyed with the idea of trying to duplicate uh, Joseph Henry Sharp's painting as the background of my painting. Um, but I didn't feel like it, it fit closely enough with my style. Um, I wanted it to be stylized. I wanted it, I wanted it to really feel separate from the subject. I didn't want it to feel like it is, is, is the background supposed to be real in her world or is this separate? And 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 again, it goes back to that balance of my my uh, traditional learning as as a uh, an oil painter and my um, inspiration from from those illustrators and and incorporating those two. So well, it's a nice it's, balance. It's, it's a nice balance, yeah. and it's a beautiful painting. I, I love the background and how you stylized it. Uh, that's that's a beautiful you. interpretation. You know, Mark, thank you for participating in this show mm -hmm. and we wish you much success. And uh, thank hopefully you. we'll get some more great works from you in the future as well. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. All right, thank you. Have right. a good one. You too, take care. All right, bye. Bye.